Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and uh, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at some other uh, incrementing ways incrementing ways, some other ways to in increment your variables in uh, for loops and uh, have them run in different ways that would make it easier for you to get the task done that you're trying to do. Now before we get started um, you may have heard me talk about this in one of my other tutorials is that I was going to make a series on this program right here which uh, I primarily created it for my geometry class to do my homework for me but um, by the time I was done creating it I was already out of geometry so there's really no point but I've been continuing to add stuff to it um, I was going to add chemistry to it but I actually didn't get in that class this year uh, I may still add it though I've got a calculator, test solver which really doesn't solve tests it's just a troll face um, and a bunch of other stuff so I was going to make a series just on the code for this and kind of make it open source so you guys can see uh, how it works and how you can uh, implement some of the similar stuff uh, in other programs that you create so let's see here let's just do let's create a, a triangle we solve it you can see it'll draw the triangle for us so if you guys want to see that go ahead and leave it in the comments PM me whatever and um, I may start making a series on um, how you can make this program. Now, we would have to trust you guys not to just steal it and create your own and release it and say it was your own code. So, um, now that we're through with that, let's go ahead and move on to the tutorial itself. So you can see here, we have the loop from last time, which is a for loop, and it says for int s equals zero, run this as long as s is less than or equal to 20, and each time it iterates, uh, add one to s by using s plus plus each time it's going to tell us the loop iteration. So instead of just doing s plus plus, we can do a whole bunch of other things. We can do s plus equals two, which is saying, which is short, shorthand for this right here. S, oh, s, uh, let's see, int s equals s plus two. That's basically what it's short for, this right here. So if we go ahead and run this, you can see that it's going to count up by 2 each time. So the first time it's going to be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Now we can do whatever we want from this. So let's say we do 7. If we run this, you can see it only goes 0, 7, 14. Because if you add 7 to 14, it goes up to the value 21 and this, since this is only going to run if it's less than or equal to 20 it's not going to run our 21. Now you can put whatever numbers you want in there we can also decrement so instead of s adding something to s we can do s minus minus to subtract something so we can start at 20 and go to as long as s is greater than or equal to 0 and you see it's going to say loop iteration 20 and it pretty much counts down all the way to zero. So we'll go ahead and close out of that and just like the adding we can do s minus equals let's say 4 and when we run that you can see it's going to decrement for each time until it gets to zero. So go ahead and um, practice with those decrementing tools and I have one more thing that I forgot. You can also modify your variable inside of the for loop itself. So we can say s plus equals 6. So each time it runs, it's going to add 6 to s, and that's really going to give us a crazy looking loop. So let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. And yeah, it definitely gave us a crazy looking loop. It gave us an infinite loop. Because it's going to run, run as long as s is greater than or equal to 0, since we're adding since we're taking away 4 and adding 6, that's the net gain of 2, so it adds 2 each time. So it's just going to create an infinite loop of adding 2 each time. So you can manipulate your variable, um, your loop variable, in many different ways. Up in here, you can manipulate it down here. Go ahead and practice with that, see what else you can do with it. Um, and then once you've gotten comfortable with that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. 